Good morning. Since um, some of you were following my question in the library group yesterday, I thought I would try to make a video for you while I try to make sure this works. So I used the um, Mark Edit video that was shared yesterday on that same question, and I've already joined the file, so I was going to try to import them now. So one of you had asked why I would want to import instead of just searching by title. The biggest reason is because when we do our Scholastic Dollars order after a book fair, we usually have a pretty good size order and it's going to take me quite a bit of time. So when I was setting up this import page, and this is the other thing that I like about this, because it will really actually save you a few steps if you get used to doing it this way. And the great thing about Scholastic Dollars, or when you order through the Book Fair Rewards site, um, mark records are almost always included for free. I've never had to pay for them. If you include processing with your mark records, there is a fee for that. But as long as you're just downloading the mark records, they, they are free. It doesn't always have a mark record for every single title. A lot of times, like the Scholastic Year in Sports or some of those just oddball books like that, you won't be able to get a mark record for those. Um, so anyway, when I set this up, I kept it on strict for title matching. And down here where it says, if an incoming title matches an existing title, I want to skip the incoming title. We don't want duplicate titles. If it's the same book, I'm going to just go in and add a copy. So I don't want it to pull that information in. And mind you, this is the first time I've done this on Destiny. I used to do it um, on Alexandria, but this is our first year switching over to Destiny. So bear with me. I'm figuring it out as I go here. So um, I always add the incoming copy record and then assign the next available barcode. So I want assign next barcode and then assign copy information. So this is the beauty of doing a bulk import. If I go into this, I know everything I have is a book. I don't have any ebooks, anything like that. So my circulation type is going to be book for everything. And my vendor is Scholastic. I, we in our district do like to keep track of our vendors. It gives me a pretty good idea at the end of the year how much we brought in with our book fair sales and things like that. And then I always want them marked as in processing. So I'm not looking for a book that isn't even on the shelf yet when kids are using the card catalog. And if it's in processing, it should not show up in the card catalog. Um, so if you, if you break, if you know all of the books you ordered are, say, fiction, you could go ahead and select fiction for sublocation. I'm not sure how all of you have this area set up, but we have sublocations for each different section in our library. So I'm not going to select that because I have a pretty wide variety of books coming in. So I'm going to hit OK. And then down here, um, I, I've not really used selected lists for my personal list. I'm going to go ahead and add it because if that's a reference I can go back and look for, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't have any ebooks in this order. And I want, I do want to know this. If there's possible duplicate titles, I want it to tell me that. And then I'll have a pretty good idea of what books I need to just go in and out a copy of. I kind of already know that because we're librarians. We know what's on our shelves for the most part. Um, and then job summary details. I'm going to remove that because I do want a record of every title and copy. So I'm going to go choose my file, which I just saved to my desktop there. And Cross your fingers that this will work right.